Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm actually going to be working on this extra door that I have or that I got with my 37 cab that I that I just picked up. Um, like I said or like I showed you guys in the in the intro video uh, this door is rusted out on the bottom. Someone started this repair they cut off uh, the, the door to here um, yeah, I'm going to try to finish this repair. Uh, I'm going to fire up our, our bender and our shear. Hopefully it's not too cold and they'll work for me. Um, kind of been looking at this, trying to get a game plan on how to tackle this. Uh, so they have very minimal parts for these old trucks. Uh, I did end up getting a uh, skin. This is a door skin. Uh, this works for uh, quite a few years. Uh, this is the, the the taller one. They have a shorter one that goes um, so far six inches or something like that. Uh, whoever did this repair cut more than that so I had to get the taller one. The taller one goes all the way to this body line right here. Um, some of these trucks don't have uh, body line, I forget. Oh, maybe they all have this one. Uh, the 36, 37, 36, 37, 38 have the dual body line on the door. Anyway, it just goes up to here anyway if you wanted to replace the whole skin. I think I'm going to go with what this guy started. Uh, he was going to, looks like he was going to um, just weld it. He had it flanged and he's going to weld it on top. I'm going to try to do a butt weld, so I'll probably cut that off. Um, I like a butt weld better than a lap weld. It's just it's just a better a better way to do it. Uh, anybody that knows or anybody that has welded on old metal knows it can be tricky. Uh, it can be real tricky. Uh, even on Dad's '70 Camaro, uh, it was uh, that old. That metal is old, but this is '37, so this is really old metal. So. Hopefully I don't get in trouble here. I've never welded on this old metal before, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, they do sell this bottom piece uh, as well. I cannot find anybody that has that in stock right now. So if I wanna repair this door, I gotta make it my own. So um, yeah, so I've got a game plan. I think I'm gonna cut this bottom piece off I'm going to cut it off the door and I'm going to try to make this piece. I'll, I can make, uh, they got a little bend right here. They got a bend right here. I, I can do those two bends in our big uh, break. Um, I cannot do this bend here because it's curved. Uh, this is a curved, I don't know how to show that to you. Uh, maybe like this, there you go. That is curved, so I'm gonna have to cut that. Once I get this panel cut off, I'll make a cardboard template. And once I get it bent, I'll mark it and I'll cut that curve into the metal and then I'll, I'll, I'll shear a small piece and I'm gonna weld this lip on it. I know that's, that's gonna be a lot of welding, but I'm just gonna take my time so I don't warp anything and uh, you know, that's what I got to do. I can't make this in one piece. I can't stamp it out. There is some damage over here on this side. So once I make this piece, I'm going to attack these pieces. And I think I can just do this, these pieces in the vise. Uh, maybe I'll start out, I'll do my main bend and then I can, I think I can put this in the vise and kind of bend it. Because it's, it's going to be a small, short piece. Because it's only, it's only rotted to about here. I may go a little higher, a little more than that. So that's my plan. Uh, first, first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to cut this bottom piece out. I did make a measurement uh, from here to here, and I got it marked. So once I cut this out, I know, you know 
where it needs to be. So you're going to want to do some reference marks. I also took a few pictures just to kind of get a visual of uh, uh, how everything goes. So I'm going to start cutting. Okay, so I got the bottom piece cut off. I didn't, I didn't cut off. It, it goes right here and it goes up in there, inside there. I'm going to make that. I just didn't cut it off because it's easier just to do some straight cuts here. Plus it leaves this so I know what I need to do to this. All I got to do is measure this and add on what I need. But here it is off. I can show you the curvature better. So there, you can see the curvature of it. Um, that's a straight bend. This is a straight bend. But that one I cannot do in the break. So um, for whatever reason, uh, the person that was working on this uh, cut the spot welds for this brace here too. That brace was a little bent up. I just took my hammer to it, uh, straightened it up. Probably going to have to spot weld it back on. Um, again, I don't know why that was pulled off, but I can get it right back. I can see exactly where it was, so I'll just spot weld it back on. Uh, might They didn't cut this side off. I might add a few spot welds, though, because um, it was flopping around in here, and I, didn't, I don't want that to, to break on someone if, if someone gets this door. So... Yeah, I've got to go now. Got to find, it uh, looks like 16 gauge is what the structure is made out of and 22 gauge is what the skin's made out of. So I got to find me some 16 gauge uh, sheet metal. Um, yeah, start, uh, start bending this up. Alrighty guys, we're in the, the old shop. Got the big bender here, got the big shear. Found myself some 16 gauge uh, sheet metal. I believe this is left over from the roof on my Polaris Ranger. Um, getting ready to shear it in the shear. Um, just gonna give myself a little extra and then I'm gonna start bending. This is a little longer than I need. Um, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna shear it, give myself some extra to do my bends. Then I'll shear it uh, lengthwise to lengthen the length I need. And then we're gonna go to the bender. So hopefully it's kind of cold in here. These uh, machines are old and grumpy when it gets cold. So hopefully they fire up. Okay, so I got my piece sheared, what I need. I'm going to make the first, the bend, that little bend. So that's the first bend I'm going to make, which is, uh, should be a half inch. Thank <laughs> you. 
similar. Now I gotta make the second bend. Okay, I'm gonna make that second bend. I'm just gonna measure uh, out. I got I got two and a quarter there. So I'm gonna stick this in the machine. I'm gonna inch this down. I'm gonna measure two and a quarter, just like this one is and a quarter to the outside. All right. Should do a 90 on this one. Not bad. I think I can work with it. Now I gotta go in the warm shop and I gotta cut my curve on this end. Hopefully I got enough. So here's my part that I just bent up to mimic this part here. So I got my all my 90 degree bends. I actually Bent this a little too far. I, I just I clamped it to the table, pulled it back a little bit. Not a big deal. This does not have to be exact. Um, I'm still learning that that break, so um, I don't know all the tricks and everything. Haven't got a whole lot of time. Wish I had more time. Wish I could do more fabrication, but I just took a piece of cardboard and I traced it out and I made a pattern of this curve so then I just took this and I put it on the back side of here and I traced out on the back side of that and I outlined it with uh, tape where I need to where I need to cut it now I'll probably clamp it to the table like that and then take my grinder and cut it along my tape edge and I'll have my curve uh, just like this one hopefully uh, then while I was in the the old shop there I cut out um, a couple strips these are like one inch strips and that's gonna make my edge my edge right here where the, the door skin is gonna wrap around so I'm gonna, I'll be welding it to here. I'll show you that when I get to that. But I gotta cut that out. I'll probably fit this in the door. I'll, I'll, I'll do my other small rust repairs. I'll fit this on the door. But once it's on the door, I'll probably do my, my edge piece. Uh, just because um, it'll be in the door, it'll hold it a little bit. I'm gonna take it nice and slow so I don't warp anything. But yeah, I'll probably wait till I get it in the door. But I gotta cut this out. So I got my piece cut and I'm pretty happy with that. I mean if you line it up here it's it's pretty darn close to mimicking uh, 
actually it's really close to mimicking that uh, shape. Um, so yeah, um, there's a drain hole here that was in the original one. I don't know if I want to put it that far, but I might put a drain hole uh, kind of in the middle here. So I might uh, might do that before I head over to the the door and start fitting it. I got to cut these ends. It's because uh, I cut this off, but there's a thing that folds over. The end folds over here. So I got to figure out where I got to do that. But yeah, we're we're almost there with this with this piece. Okay, guys. So I've got this piece uh, pretty much made. See, I got that end folded over. This end, it didn't look like anything folded over, so I just cut it off. But it's gonna go in there like this, like there. And I actually had to cut, I actually had to cut this off. I tried to cut the spot welds and it was not going well. And then it, it looked like everything was kind of weak anyway. Actually, it looks pretty it looks pretty stout but I just chose to just cut it off there so I gotta go uh, make one of these um, I'll probably make it one piece I'll, I'll do this and then I'll, I'll give myself a, a 90 and then I'll go in the vise and I'll, I'll curl it around and match this so I'll do one piece right there um, this side was not near as bad as I thought it was um, I went in there uh, it is a little uh, pitted, but this is such thick metal. It's it's it's. Um, I, I feel like it's strong enough. It, there's, it's not rusted through at all. Um, there was some rust through on this lip, so I cut this lip off. So I got to re-weld uh, this lip on here. Um, again, I got to form this piece here. Get that on there. Then I can get this piece uh, back on there and then I can make my bottom lip. Okay, so I'm working away here, trying to get this all figured out. Now I cut this piece off right here, and I wish I wouldn't have, because it was pretty solid. Actually, it was, it was solid. And instead of trying to clean all this up, this other stuff that wasn't, I took the easy way and I cut it off, and I wish I wouldn't have because now it's causing me problems. I don't exactly know uh, where this goes. Um, I've got this long here. I've got to cut that off because it's got a curve, but I was just kind of getting the, my basic shape there. Um, yeah, this side is really good because um, everything was there except for I did add a little uh, strip there. So this side is good. It's just this side causing me some grief plus this side has got all kinds of different shapes so um, it was going to cause me a problem anyway but I'm um, just trying to figure out how to go about this uh, getting this back on here so yeah it's just uh, you know fitting fitting a lot of time but it's looking pretty good So I'm going to keep at this and uh, hopefully get her done here. Okay, so I've got these sides uh, pretty much finished up. Um, I added a little strip here and uh, everything worked out good. I mean, I like, like how everything turned out. This one here. Um, I had to end up, I cut this off and I re-welded re the piece in there because uh, this, there were so many different angles here that um, I, I wasn't going to get it without, uh, you know, cutting it and doing that because, uh, like I said, there's just, it just, it goes this way, it goes that way and um, I feel like I've got a really good uh, curvature, the same curvature. I might be able to, might have to pound that up a little bit more right there, but I feel like this follows it really good. Um, 
Uh, the contours look really good here. I mean, obviously, if you want this to, if you want to paint this all up nice, you're gonna have to do body work because there's just there's no way around doing a little bit of body work when you're doing rust repair. But real happy. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna weld the underside or not. I feel like I got really good penetration. This metal is actually welding really good. I don't know if it's because it's so dang thick that uh, it's welding good. I might have trouble with the door skin, but this stuff here is, is actually doing really good. So really happy with, with uh, everything. I got my piece here. This is all ready to, to go in. And uh, let me get it in there right. It's going to go uh, like this. So this piece is going to go in like that. So I got to take a break, but probably going to drill some holes in this. Maybe put some spot welds. I could just weld the the outside or a lip or something. I don't need to do spot welds, but um, yeah, I might do it the way the factory did it. So I gotta take a break and then I'll start putting that piece on. Got my, my lip welded on. And I just had to spot that, put a million spot welds across there. And I ground them down. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just spot weld this in here. I got drilled some holes in that. I'm just gonna spot weld it. I might, I might put a few more other tacks on it. But I believe all they did was spot weld it from the factory so <clears throat> yeah it's uh it's got the curve that I need so I'm pretty pretty happy with this I'm, I'm done right now because this this is a ton of work I'm gonna go uh, take a break eat something come back to this. I might, I might throw this video up uh, as like a um, uh, door, door frame repair or something. And then I'll do the door skin. The door skin, that's a whole nother thing. I gotta take a break to do that. Cause I really, that's really gotta be spot on uh, right here. You know, this frame or whatever can be, you know, a little off here, a little off there, whatever. And you know, it, it ain't gonna make too much of a difference, but I got to get this seam right here. It's got to be right on, so. Yeah, it's uh, another thing, luckily I had this other door because when I cut uh, this side out, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that. I, I cut this one side out and I had a measurement, uh, but I lost it, so I didn't know you know how long this door was supposed to be. Luckily, like I said, I had another one and I measured from a, uh, the mounting hole down and stuff. And I've, I've measured it now and it, it, it appears to be the same as this other door I have. So I think we're in good shape. This, this really turned out nice. It was a ton of work, a ton of work, but yeah, I'm real happy with it. 
I'm just gonna, I'll tack these in uh, some other time, guys. It's just a, just a tack weld, but you get the idea. So frame is done. Gonna move on, grab my skin, and maybe I'll do a, another video on that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you.